Hey guys, hey, it is your girl, so Fashion Week TV in the place to be. And hello, today is Friday, Friday, Friday. And um, today I am going for my first tightening. I'm gonna put you guys down somewhere because I know that I'm running late for this appointment, but I keep feeling like something is on. on me like on my tongue so I keep doing that but yeah so I'm hoping that this battery on this camera doesn't act up but yeah I have the my first tightening appointment today so I figured I would vlog it so yeah I am just putting some foundation on my face I just put one little pump maybe I'll put two I'll do two pumps of foundation on this beauty blender and I am using the True Match Lumi uh, foundation. It does have SPF in it and so yeah that's what I'm putting on my face today. Just lightly, nothing too serious. I just want to kind of even out my skin um, and look alive. That's it. That's about it. Oh, this is coming off so light on camera. Yeah, I think I'm, the color that I got, I meant to get the color that's just above this. But they didn't have it, so I settled on this, but I kept my receipt. So if it doesn't blend properly, it'll be going back to the store. So yeah, this looks really weird on camera. Um, but in person, it doesn't look too bad. And then once I powder up, this is the color that I actually meant to get, but they didn't have it. So let me just see if I put, if I mix it dab or two of this one on. Oops, shit, I didn't mean to put that much. Okay, let's see what happens if I add this one, it might not get any better, let's see. Yeah, but I figured I would vlog. I have not been very motivated to do so. Um, yeah, I've not been motivated to do any vlogging because of work stress. And I'm just gonna leave that right there. But um, I am now forced to take matters into my own hands as far as that's concerned because it's having an adverse effect on my health. Um, and so I have to do something about it and so a booby. I'm just gonna leave that right there. You know? Uh, so yeah. That's the foundation. It looks really, really light on this camera. But I've been wearing this and I've been photographing myself in it and all of that. And it does not... I don't look ghostly. So it could just be, you know, the lighting and stuff in the camera. And I really need to get a a Botox refill because the wrinkles have returned in the top of my forehead. Well, across my forehead, actually. So, yeah. Let's hurry up. And so for powder, guys, I am using this medium dark finishing powder by e.l.f. And I've used quite a lot of it. So, as you can see, once I put the powder on, it, it comes together. Um, it comes together nicely, so. It doesn't look so ghostly now that I put the powder on. In case you guys are wondering, like I have a breakout right here. I don't know what that's all about. It, I cleaned my brushes and it could be what I cleaned the brushes with. I used a combination of <sighs> dish detergent don't tell anybody and um, the elf brush cleaner and I noticed that 
the day after I did that, I got this bump thing up. So yeah. But yeah, I am going to go ahead and finish getting ready. And then I'll come back. Um, oh, but yeah, this is my teeth. Not really doing much of anything. I mean, I did see some shifting happening. Uh, but I assume more to come as my braces get adjusted and such. So we're going to be heading over to the dentist's office to get all this done. And I'll check back in with you guys in a few. your girl is ready yes so as you can see the makeup looks a lot better I don't look so ghostly you know yeah I look 100% better and I just decided to throw on some jeans and some sneakers and you know I can show you how it all came together I'm gonna spin the camera yeah. um, I'm doing a long sleeve because when you go indoors, it's always freezing because they have the air blasting. And so I hate being cold. And I made that mistake last time going in there with short sleeves. And I was so cold, so I'm wearing a long sleeve top today. And I have on these jeans that I got at Mandy's, one of my favorite stores. They are a pair of $10 uh, stretch skinny jeans. And they're actually real jeans like they're not like jegging style jeans they are it's a real a real uh, denim jean and i really like that and then i have on my um nike these are nike sneakers i love them i have them in white as well i have on my off-white belt just some really simple jewelry red earrings and some cute little shades. I also got at Mandy's for 10 bucks. That is the fit and the camera is blinking. I gotta sneeze. So, um, I'll be back. <coughs> Bless me. All the devices are blinking as usual. So I'm gonna get on out of here. Oh yeah, let's talk about my weight real quick. Um, so today I'm weighing in at 126.3 is what the scale said so yeah i'm still maintaining not gaining um still doing the veggie plan not eating any meat um i put the hello fresh on pause for two for two weeks because the carb count in some of those meals even though they're veggie is just really really high i mean it's understandable but it was just getting way too high and i am trying to keep my carbs at a minimum even though i'm not doing keto right now i still don't want to od on the carbs uh, because i'm carb sensitive and it can have an adverse effect on my weight so um i put it on pause for two weeks and i am going to uh, do it on my own for the next two weeks to see if it makes a difference on the scale. I'll keep you guys posted on that um, So yeah, I just wanted to pop on here show you guys the fit I'm about to get out of here get on the road and I'll see you guys at the dentist office okay. All right guys all right guys so i got a new battery in the camera and i'm on the road so you guys know your girl um had to get my devices charged did that then my camera light was blinking but i did have a backup battery already charged so kudos to me for that um i did have to stop at the gas station just before the tunnel because you know had to get cash because you gotta have cash when you're um going into the city because you gotta pay for parking and all of that jazz so now now i'm on my way to the dentist and uh yeah hopefully there's not a lot of traffic but i'm thinking that 
it is going to be a little bit of traffic because one it's friday and two it's raining and three there was just something going on the traffic was kind of like jammed up um per the news kind of like all morning so probably more so because of the rain but yes it's definitely traffic i can see it here and so yeah we're gonna take a nice slow stroll on over to the dentist office we were talking about as you can see i almost broke my whole entire camera but we were talking about my weight guys and um yeah so my weight and all that jazz so my weight is holding pretty steady um my weight's holding steady at about 125 126 pounds and i'm pretty good with that i mean it even goes as low as 124 i haven't gotten back down to like the 122 which is kind of where i said i wanted to be but you know it kind of is what it is um i this is the lowest weight that I've ever been um, in my adult life. So I am thrilled about that. And I'm gonna stay on the path. Um, I think one of the reasons why I don't look as drawn as maybe I did last year is because of all of the fresh vegetables that I am eating and eating more clean. Um, and I love that. I love that my face is looking a bit more um lifelike and not so drawn and like just drab and dry and dead like um so i think that doing the meatless thing is kind of like breathing life into my body um, i feel so good i love keto as well but i just think that um eating more clean and whole is helping my body tremendously and so yeah uh, the next thing i'm probably going to be working on here in the near future is trying to um, eliminate the cheese uh, because cheese is like a lifeline for me on this journey um even with keto like being able to eat cheese kind of like unlimited has helped me to to stay on keto um for as long as i did but the thing about that is um you know, I really wasn't getting a lot of variety in my keto diet because I kind of got lazy with it. And it's just like, okay, I know I could eat X, Y, and Z. So I'm just going to eat X, Y, and Z to stay on plan. Um, but since I've been doing like HelloFresh and uh, to see that there is such a variety of things that you can eat without eating meat. There's so many different herbs and spices and things that you can incorporate into your meals to make them taste so good. It's, it's just keeping me excited excited about my decision to give up meat and um yeah i'm glad to take you guys on the journey um alongside me uh doing this because it is very 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 interesting and it and again it's helping my body so much i cannot tell you like guys i am like so open and like my uh, my system is just so clear and i'm just everything is moving like it's supposed to if you know what i mean and so that that's the wonderful thing is the fact that um I feel like I'm eliminating um, my food. I'm digesting and eliminating the food as it comes in and I'm not really holding on to a lot. And that is, that just makes me so excited um, about this whole journey. And so if you are thinking about taking the plunge and going vegetarian, vegan or whatever or just trying to eat more whole definitely do it it's not as expensive as you think i mean hell for uh three meals on hello fresh is only costing me fifty dollars and these are meals that you would probably see on a restaurant menu but it's fresh it's coming from it's coming out of my kitchen i know exactly what's going in it i know exactly how much sodium and how many carbs and everything um everything is well measured uh pre-packaged for you so all you have to do is wash it it, cut it up and prepare it and I love that about it the only thing that I didn't like uh, um, if I can say that I didn't like something about it was the fact that the some of the dishes had a lot of carbs in it so like rice 
and all of that I, I can kind of do without that you know so um, having those substitutes uh, for uh, rice is good and I think that they should probably give you that as an option um, and they don't so that is the only thing that if I can say from an improvement perspective that HelloFresh can do is to give people other options like with all the meals give a cauliflower flour rice option as an example I mean I think that would that would be good because then if a person is not eating rice right now and the dish calls for rice then they can check off the cauliflower rice option and you know they would be able to um, incorporate that into their meal versus um, you know having the rice and maybe not being able to use it or not getting the full serving because you got to cut back if you're watching your carbs so yeah from a recommendation perspective that is the only thing that I would recommend otherwise I love the meals um, oh same thing with the like uh, the paninis or the flatbreads not the paninis oh my god the flatbreads that they offer I mean if they could if they could offer maybe um, you know a cauliflower or low carb option that would be good other than that it's perfect it's perfect for someone who is on a journey like this trying to maintain their weight it's awesome so i strongly urge you guys to try it i actually can give four people um a discount code for it so if you're interested in in getting the discount code and getting like i think like 80 dollars or something off of your meal i can pass the code to four people um just post it post down below your email address and i will uh, send you those codes um so that you can get some money off if you want to try it it's something that you you're not obligated to be hooked into um you can stop or pause it at any time and you know it's it's not costing you a whole lot of money i love it like i said i'm doing the veggie plan and it's only costing me fifty dollars for three meals a week and these are two serving meals for myself and my husband and yeah it's awesome i love it i absolutely love it so i've talked enough i am going on to the bridge now so i'm going to pause here and i will check in with you guys in a few guys so I'm on I went to I've been around so now it's 10 after 3 so I've been out here for a little minute and I needed to get something to eat and I needed that something to be soft because I just had that adjustment at the dentist, orthodontist, whatever you want to call it. So I'm having some egg bites from Starbucks and I'm doing the egg white version because I'm not eating meat. So it's always good, you know, to have options and to know where your options are. And because I know that Starbucks has this, that's always an option for me. And then um, I also got the Starbucks pink drink. Which I just found out is Aki Berry Tea. Coconut milk and agave. All things that you can purchase at your local grocery store. And so, I'm probably going to try to make it on my own. Mm. So good. 
Yeah, so I figured I would just pop on and say what up, though. Um, tell you that my adjustment went well. And yeah, I'm having a good Friday. I am stuck in hella traffic right now. Uh, so I just figured I would check in because I am B-O-R-E-D sitting in all this traffic. Um, and it's a little warm. So yeah, that's pretty much the update that I have for you guys at this moment. Um, the tightening, uh, all is well. The only thing though is I got gold and it makes the teeth look a little yellow so yeah um what she said guys was that she was going to be focusing more so on the bottom and that um she wants these teeth on the side to move together before she starts focusing in on the gap so she wants to kind of get the teeth to move because I think what she's going to try to do is get, get my teeth perfectly centered. Yeah, so I think I'm going to have to download Google Translate because it's a language barrier and I have a really hard time understanding what she's saying, but I kind of got the gist um, today. But I think just to be on the safe side, I'm going to do uh, download Google Translate so that I can have a better understanding of everything that she's saying. Uh, the next time I go but yeah that's what it's looking like uh, I have no pain no discomfort or anything and so yeah that's the update for now I will check in with you guys a little later peace out